You are looking at video 23 of my invention. This thing is pretty cool in that. Oh, you got to see this thing. It's awesome. Let's take a look at all the detail in that sucker. I mean, there's just a lot of work that's been done in that sucker. And that's just beautiful. Just kind of take a look all the way around this baby. And that. I've got a lot of little explaining to you. I know I haven't been in contact with you people. But this thing is just awesome. I mean, wait till I fire this baby up. Oh, here's a look at my transmission here. That's the new transmission. That's a different motor I got. I had to put a little bit bigger motor in it because uh, it takes a little more energy to run it, Nat. But uh, later on, I'll try to work it out. Uh, I'm more gone for the concept and stuff. So I'm not really worried about the input at this point. And I'm just worried about trying to get something to go. Here, I'll, I'll show you. This is a top view of it, what it looks like. And this is all what you've been waiting for. Fire this baby up. Check it out. See how fast this one? It starts and stops when I want it to. See how that stopped? And then I'm not hitting this, any of this with my fingers. I can adjust it. I got a speed control on it. And I watch. I'll try to adjust it real fast. As you notice, there's uh, a lot of different changes he's made into it. Uh, the cam and that. Let me uh, run this thing real slow once and I'll show you something here. Really neat. I'll slow it down a little bit. As you can see, it's got that wave effect when it runs. That's uh, Maxwell's wave effect. And then you can always, this is running it so fast <clears throat> that it has, doesn't have time to catch. It runs pretty good in that. Uh, I haven't had any problems with it at all. Um, and what I want to show you is this cam here for a second. Um, let me unhook this over here. This thing turns very freely, as you can see. It's got all of the uh, I could turn it very easily with my hand. It doesn't take much to turn this at all, even on this end here. It turns very freely, and that's like the centrifugal force. And each one of these things is in a different position. As you see, it coming it has a spiral to it. Each one 
hits it at a different time. That's what gives the uh, the uh, Maxwell effect, you know, and it's got that little wave effect that I talked about, remember, in uh, previous videos and stuff. That's another thing. And I put, you know, I had to put one in each one there. And I did a lot of little changes. I did some testing on some of the coils and that. Right now, I'm not going to give you the information. I got them all wrapped. As you can see right here, some of the wires wiring into it. Right here, there's some wires that go down inside there. Uh, I'll get that on the, maybe the next video. I'm trying a different configurations. I'm just not going to give that information out right at this point. Uh, and I am looking for a financial backer in that. On I got the patents and everything, and I'm doing very good on it. Uh, what I need to do is try and get a financial backer for this kind of technology and that it's just uh, it, and uh, that's what my patent attorney said what I'm going to need is the first prototype that you've seen it was a concept prototype this is the commercial prototype because this could be built on a lot more I mean you could put a lot more sections all the way over to here I mean this is uh, eight sections. You could probably put 16, 20. You could have hundreds of magnets, and that. And it's still all it is is just when it comes around, it just trips these magnets. As you can see, there's also a coordination between the distance between here and here where it hits, and the strength of the magnet between here and here. So as you increase this here, you could increase this here, and it makes the oscillations go faster. So, you know, kind of watch how fast this thing goes. I mean, right now, I mean, that's, that thing's flying. So I mean that thing is really scooting along in that. I mean definitely it's putting out a current. It's definitely a generator. There's no doubt about this thing and that. It just took me a lot of time to get some things worked out and that. I put plastic gears in it. It seems to be a lot smoother than the metal running in that. These are all plastic gears down inside here. And that this is just a bread mixing motor. It's not that big of a motor and that. But there's a lot of motion going on in this thing and it's it's pretty cool in that I mean it runs great but the thing is I'm gonna need a financial backer and it's gonna be millions of dollars to get the production prototype gone this is only a commercial prototype I want a production prototype it could be made and don't get hung up about all the magnets down inside here or what I'm showing you these could be electromagnets down inside here. You know, when you look at your generators and stuff, those are all electromagnets. And I can get a higher output. Your electrical motors and stuff aren't permanent magnets. But let me show you something here. There, I have something over here. Hang on. Right here. As you see, there are no permanent magnets in this motor whatsoever. There's uh, electromagnets in that. And that, that there, there's fields and stuff, but there's no permanent magnets. Even in the generators and that, they don't have permanent magnets. So all everything could be ejected with plastic and everything. And everything could be replaced with electromagnets and stuff. So don't get hung up on when I start showing you these outputs. Because electromagnets can put out a lot more power than permanent magnets. So I'll kind of let you go, and I got some more stuff coming up. I'm kind of running out of time. Okay, I'll let you go, and goodbye.